Hey guys, what's up? Bearcat here with another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. And today we are reviewing for you guys the Marvel Legends series Deadpool 2 movie Dead Cable figure. And I gotta say, it is a Walmart exclusive. I'll start off the bat saying that. I went out to Walmart the other day and saw he was on the shelves a couple months ahead of time. And I picked him up so I could review him for you guys. Uh, but looking at the, we'll start off with looking at the box here before I explain how much I like and love this figure. Um, so first starting off the box, you can see it's almost the exact same box styling as the uh, all the other X-Men ones except for you see it's been Deadpoolized as I like to call it. Uh, you see where they splotched out the label for ages and put 14 up which is what the other ones age limited as. Uh, you can see the little Deadpool sticker put over here over the X and it makes with how realistic it looks it makes you think it's a real sticker but it's not real it's just part of the decal on here and you can see with a little sharpie they crossed out his name and put cable and you got this nice picture of cable here on the back you have the same picture of cable here for the name thing again not much on the bottom side here same picture of cable and not much more on top other than another sticker over the X and Legend series so let's get to it and we'll open up cable so here is Cable outside of the packaging, and I gotta say, I really love this figure. Uh, he is exactly, looks like the uh, exact re representation of Cable from the movies. And so, we'll get we'll move him on here to his accessories. So, but I, I will say, actually before accessories, before I get ahead of myself, uh, I really love the looks of this. It looks exactly like Josh Brolin. I love how they did it. His face tech is amazing, I will say that again make these guys look so much like the actors the robot arm and everything looks exactly like it did in the movie you see him have a little teddy bear hanging off his belt which is such a nice piece he's got this little poncho here and I will say poncho because it looks like it's just a poncho flipped around to look more like a cape because there's the hood and everything a nice ammo belt and vest nice little gear here beautifully sculpted holster uh, he unlike the other ones he does not implement Unlike some of the other ones, he does not implement the new no-pin technology on his arms, so you can see the pins there and there. Same with his legs. It's, it's, and then, yeah, it's just, this looks amazing. This looks exactly like he does in the movie, so I'm very happy with what Marvel has done with these guys. These guys look so amazing. I'm so happy they finally decided to make these figures. Now, I will say, there, he's stay standing uh, all right now we'll go on to his accessories so first thing we have to notice is the gun the giant gun you see him use in the movie which I always thought was funny and weird at the same time because he had when you look at it it's got like this submachine gun look to it then you see like an assault rifle barrel like a 50 caliber sniper rifle barrel some kind of sonic weapon or something here since you do see like show up shoot waves out that pushes people back uh, a sniper scope and so it was so hysterical when I saw this gun move because I was like what is this monstrosity it's like the strangest looking thing but also very cool and uh, he does come with a grenade launcher accessory for it a couple of them actually so you can attach this one here and it looks like that he does have this one that you can attach also more futuristic looking grenade launcher but I prefer not to attach that because I saw him use it separately in the movie. So I usually just attach to the more traditional looking grenade launcher. And then for another accessory he comes with is this pistol and the grenade. And like I said, the grenade launcher little looking thing here. So obviously you can have him hold the pistol like so. That's it. Or you can have him hold the grenade launcher piece here like this because I if I remember correctly it's been a little bit since I've seen the movie but I remember him holding up the grenade launcher like this I think I, if, and firing it so but as you can see though there are holsters for them as I showed you earlier so you gotta lift up the poncho a little bit so you can reach them but the pistol goes right here you can see it past my fat fingers there it is it's holstered right there and then the grenade launcher attachment piece here goes right into this black one 
black holster. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a snug fit, but once you get it going, once you get it all, oh, come on. You're gonna fight me now, Cable, aren't you? There we go. There, and then you can see it goes in. And then, like I said with the other accessory, he can hold his rifle. So as you can see, attaches like so. I'm gonna remove this poncho for the next portion. That's gonna come up here because it likes to get in the way a lot. But other than that, the only accessories he has is like with usual Marvel Legends. He comes with replaceable hands, so you can replace the fist to fisted hands. And then the obvious giveaway of which hands which other than is uh, silver for the robot hand, plain human skin for the just the normal arm. But anyways, moving along, we'll go to post ability on this figure. Uh, he does use the same double ball, ball jointed system that Wolverine does, but he seems to be able to use it more. I don't know if it's because it's got a longer joint in there or what, because you can see like a gap here between the neck piece and the head. But you can see he can look up that far, which is pretty far, look down that far. He's got an ab crunch, which is the vest I'm surprised does not get in the way of it all. So crunch that forward. Uh, but it gets away of back movement because he can only crunch back that far. Uh, arm rotates 360. Excuse me for that. Ooh, didn't see that coming. Uh, arms can move up and down. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. And the arm rotation is the same on both sides. And the same with the hand movements because you see for the wrists he goes up and down. Instead, or side to side, I mean. I have to remember my turns. Uh, he does have a waist swivel here, which the belt surprisingly does not get in the way of. Kick forward that far, back not much at all, spread that far, thigh swivel, double joint knees, boot rotation, ankle moving down and up, and he does have ankle pivot. So now I'll put all his gear back on and then we'll get we'll go along to the size comparisons. And here's Cable all geared up with his big mamma jamma rifle. And for his size, he is standing here at just under six and a half inches tall. So for our size comparisons, here we have next to our last figure review, the Target exclusive Star Boost Armor Iron Man. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the Merc with the Mouth himself, Deadpool, the comic book version. So you can see how they scale together. Since he was in the 90s cartoon of the X-Men, I'm going to put him here with the 90s cartoon version of Wolverine. So you can see how they scale together. For another comparison from a movie figure from the Fox line, here he is next to the Wolverine movie figure so you can see how they scale together and last but not least here he is next to the Star Wars Black Series uh, Star Wars Clone Wars Captain Rex so you can see how they scale together And here is Cable in an action pose, getting ready for a fight uh, to save the future. Uh, I gotta say, it. big thanks to the Walmart workers at my local Walmart. Uh, they helped me out finding this guy. I had to call three different Walmarts just out of curiosity since I saw a few had him in stock to see if they actually had him. And they did. And I got there just in time to get one of the last ones. So I want to thank those guys. And, um... 
I want to say thank you to all of you for watching my video from start to finish. I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. I know I enjoyed making this review for you. And um, I guys say thank you for watching from start to finish. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If I can say the word, subscribe. There you go. Uh, for more Bearcats reviews, um, I will remind you this is a Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends. So if you want him, you'll have to find him at Walmart. But I highly recommend it. This figure has a pretty good pose ability. Uh, it can get in some really good poses, and he just looks all great. And if you're very much like the Deadpool movie and you enjoy collecting the movie figures, I think you'll really enjoy adding him to your collection. Uh, so thank you again for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment below and let me know what you guys would like to see it next, and I'll try to get and review it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Bearcat Reviews. Hey. That's the second time. You don't like staying up, do you? <laughs>